Let's talk about photographing horses. So here we are at the beach. It's just a common or garden beach equine photo shoot. As always, I will not be using drive mode. So I don't want to go through 5,000 images to get 10. You've got to pick your shots with equine photography. You know the action you want to catch the horse in. Know your reaction time and just preempt it every time. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here are the shots are timed to the hoof beats there. My waterproof trousers I've just discovered are not waterproof. As you can see, the way you judge the hoof beats is the only thing you need to know. You don't need drive mode. But I actually experimented with this. When I first got my 1DX, funnily enough, I uh, set it to 10 frames a second and I actually rattled off a sequence. I had eight shots, all with the horse like that. It perfectly captured the horse in the wrong cadence all the time. Mm. And it was a waste of time. First couple of shoots I did with a 1DX took me so long to cull and edit. I'm never ever doing that again. So I suppose we better talk about gear. What I currently use, what I used to use and what I will be using. Shooting very cheap kit really. It's an old Canon 7D. Damn son, where'd you find this? EFS 55-250 to 250 lens, STM, about as cheap as you can get. And in my bag I have a can of 50mm 1.8. Now many of you non-working photographers are going to say, what the hell are you using a 7D for and an old cheap lens? Regular viewers will know the story behind this. And I have to say that I did six shoots last week. Very good, everyone happy. There were more sort of portrait shoots with this very setup. Everyone's happy, everyone paid, but what's with the cheap camera and is this how I intend to continue? No, it isn't how I intend to continue because, you see, I thought my days of equine photography were over. I thought the COVID lockdowns had killed it, so I gave up and moved on. But just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. So here I am, and this is the only surviving digital camera I've got, so it's all I've got to use. So I'm not going to turn the work down. But if the work keeps coming in, I will be upgrading. Oh, new camera. No, I'll buy a used camera. I will buy the best kit I ever had for this kind of work. Mark 1, 1DX, 50mm f1.8, plastic fantastic. And the money goes into the workman's lens, which is a 70 to 200 f2.8 ISL. Back to you in the studio, Drew. If not a 1DX, then a 1DS Mark III, because that is one hell of a camera. I really enjoyed using that, and I love the look of that sensor. It actually looks marginally better than the 1DX, but I have a lot of experience with both, and I will happily take either. The truth is that the camera is not as important as we might think it is. I used to shoot horses on 6x6 film. It just doesn't matter. The principle remains the same. If you like this video, maybe give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. It won't cost you anything, I promise.